Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says if x equal to minus 1 upon m square and x equal to 1 upon n square are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx minus 1 equal to 0 then find the values of a and b. So we are given one equation and we are given the roots of this equation. We have to find the values of a and b. Let's find out its solution now. The given equation is ax square plus bx minus 1 equal to 0. Let this be equation 1. Then it's given that x equal to minus 1 upon m square and x equal to 1 upon n square are the roots of equation 1. So this means that minus 1 upon n square and 1 upon n square satisfies the equation 1. So first we will put the value of x as minus 1 upon n square in equation 1. So putting x equal to minus 1 upon n square in equation 1 we get a into minus 1 upon n square the whole square plus b into minus 1 upon n square minus 1 equal to 0. This gives us a upon m to the power 4 minus b upon m square minus 1 equal to 0. Now further taking LCM on the left hand side we get in the denominator m to the power 4. In the numerator we have a minus b into m square minus m to the power 4. This is equal to 0. So further we get a minus b into m square minus m to the power 4 is equal to 0. Or you can say we have m to the power 4 plus b into m square minus a is equal to 0. Now let this be equation 2. Now next we will put x equal to 1 upon n square in equation 1. So now putting x equal to 1 upon n square in equation 1 we get a into 1 upon n square the whole square plus b into 1 upon n square minus 1 equal to 0. This gives us a upon n to the power 4 plus b upon n square minus 1 equal to 0. Now taking LCM on the left hand side we get in the denominator n to the power 4 and now in the numerator we have a plus b into n square minus n to the power 4 and this is equal to 0. So further we would get a plus b into n square minus n to the power 4 is equal to 0. That is we now have n to the power 4 minus b into n square minus a is equal to 0. Now let this be equation 3. So now we have got two equations n to the power 4 plus b into m square minus a is equal to 0 and n to the power 4 minus b into n square minus a is equal to 0. So now this was equation 2 and this was equation 3 and we need to solve both these equations to get the values for a and b. So subtracting equation 3 from equation 2 we get m to the power 4 plus b into 
m square minus a minus n to the power 4 minus b into n square minus a is equal to 0. So we get m to the power 4 minus n to the power 4 plus b into m square plus n square minus a plus a is equal to 0. Now plus a minus a cancels. So we get m to the power 4 minus n to the power 4 plus b into m square plus n square is equal to 0. From here we get b into n square plus n square is equal to n to the power 4 minus m to the power 4. This further gives us b is equal to n to the power 4 minus m to the power 4 upon m square plus n square. That is we have b is equal to n square plus n square this whole into n square minus m square and this whole upon m square plus n square n square plus n square cancels with this n square plus n square in the numerator. So we get b is equal to n square minus m square. So we have now got the value for b. To get the value of a, we will substitute this value of b in equation 2 or 3. So now substituting the value of b in equation 2, we get m to the power 4 plus b, that is n square minus n square into n square minus a is equal to 0. This gives us m to the power 4 plus n square n square minus m to the power 4 minus a is equal to 0. Now m to the power 4 and minus m to the power 4 cancels. So we get a is equal to m square n square. So we have now obtained the value of a also. Thus we get a is equal to m square n square and b is equal to n square minus n square. So this is our final answer. With this we complete the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.